Oh, hi there. Good Lord. Well, there you are. Hi. So, you're applying for a job. First things first, get a cool pair of frames. They're zany, they're wacky, you can just look cool. It's real, oh shit. All right, make sure they fucking work first. Get in the zone. When you're applying for jobs, is it really make sense for you to be in PJs? I don't think so. I say every morning when I get up and I write all my cover letters, and all that stuff, I make sure that I am looking good. Because I don't know if my video camera's on. And like, so am I applying online? Does that, does that mean I'm actually applying online? I don't understand. Don't get drunk. You can get a little drunk. But don't get drunk. They'll know. <laughs> They'll know. Too much Merlot in your text. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. My underwear is very wet. It's kind of hard to write, actually, when your underwear is wet. It's just like, I'm thinking weird things. I'm like, oh, yes, I am so good at answering phones. Phones. Hello, it's me. Reg I'm sorry. My underwear is wet. All right. The number one no-no, besides your no-no, is don't show your no-no. I really did. I really thought I was going to get that one, but I didn't. It's cool. It's cool. Like I said, don't get drunk. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm really okay. I mean, I'm looking for jobs. Always be funny. Started out funny, like salutations from Mars. Hi, red hot. One single lady red hot gonna jive you down. Then say, I'm kidding. I am not a Martian. Wait a second before you write that next line. Just let it soak in your head like you are not a Martian. Then, start talking to Martian. <laughs> It'll throw them off if you're like, bleep, bloop, bloop, gazarp. Tell them that you met them at a party once. Because then that way they'll be like, oh, I remember her. And be like, I'm, we talked about how your family member or loved one had cancer. And then they'll be like, I told her that. And then you'll be like, yes. So, I got a secret. This is actually a man's shirt. I can't get comfortable in a lady's shirt. Because when I wear a man's shirt, I like to pretend that it's a man that I love. And I'm putting this shirt on and I'm going to work and I'm saying, I fucked. So don't fuck with me. That's just a little tidbit I have. Puts me in the right zone. I'm not quite sure what I'm very good at. But I know that I'm going to make it. No, someone's going to love me, definitely. I can tell that someone's going to love me. I'm going to walk right into those doors. I'm going to swing them on open. And I'm going to say, you called, I'm here. And they'll be like, what? No. And I'll be like, no, you did. And even if you didn't, did it, I'm here. And I'm going to answer your phones. And it's going to be great. And I'm going to say hello. And I'm going to say, you got a meeting deadline. And then it's going to be one crazy show. And I'm going to walk to lunch. And I'm going to say, do you want barbecue today? Because I could really go for some barbecue. And they'll be like, oh, you know what? You are so fun. We never go to barbecue. And I'll be like, what? You always eat in your office? Oh, that is so sad. Get on out. Let's go to the BBQ shop. And they'll be like, wow, what have I been doing? And I'll just laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. We'll just laugh till our laugh can't be heard anymore because it'll just be the background noise. That's what we'll do. I'm not even applying the jobs right now. I don't know how to do it. I'm very confused. 
I try every day. I get in this outfit and I, I turn on the heat and I like, I don't get drunk. And I eat. I fucking, I fucking ate. Mm -hmm. I won't get in the lake.